Hoes ain't fucking with Barbie. Take them my pink Bob Marley. I got a whole army as Charlie. Pull up with a killer, he the joker, I'm hard. Hey guys, and welcome back to I'm Beautiful Hustler TV. We are back with another video for our Slay series. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this style for the first time. And I did it on myself. And today I am using a blonde wig from my own collection. This is a HD Lace blonde wig, 13 by 6 full parting space wig. Y'all see it, full parting space, HD Lace. Yeah, so y'all know this was the day of my hosting and I wanted to do like a Barbie look. So I did blonde hair and a pink outfit. And um, first of all, I went ahead and like toned the wig. Um, using purple shampoo and then I ended up letting that sit too long and I got some purple streaks so then I had to get some ash blonde um dye y'all and dye your ash blonde and it was a it was a lot but nevertheless I got me a nice tone blonde and I'm gonna show you guys actually how I installed this wig and I did the style now I was very nervous about doing this whole look because I've never done it on myself like and honestly styles like this is hard to do on yourself especially if you're not using a full lace and even are even if you are using a full lace like you have to really concentrate on gluing down that back as well so either way it goes it's still you know kind of pretty hard to do and I forgot to mention the length of this wig is a 16 a 16 inch wig and like I mentioned again this is a 13 by 6 full parting space HD lace 613 wig from my collection which you can purchase on my website that is always listed down below in the description box but any who's let's get into the install so y'all know i went and got my face beat by my makeup artist at sensation sensational faces on instagram period and um i wanted to do my fake my makeup first and then the hair after so you can get the full effect of the whole look so right now what i'm doing um you know the full effect of the whole look and then you know just get into the style yeah yeah but anywho so what i'm doing right now is actually just adding the foundation on the lace and onto the wig um disclaimer i did not pluck this wig at all I did not pluck this wig at all. The wig does come pre-plucked, but you can pluck more for your liking if you choose to, or if you don't choose to, or don't feel like it like I didn't, then just install. So I'm just going in with the glue and I'm adding, I think I did three layers. I did three layers today with this install and I just applied that glue a little bit in front of my cap. And y'all know because I have my little wig tan line, I really have to make sure I cover up my tan line when doing my install and just making sure the lace still blends with my makeup, like a smooth transition from wig to makeup, because I did have to clean some of that makeup off using that alcohol. But nevertheless, once I add all of my layers, I will go ahead and begin to tack down the wig. So now that I have added all of the layers, I'm gonna go ahead and place the glue down. And once I get it where it needs to be, I will go ahead and blow dry it in place, hot comb it back, and then go ahead and tie it down with that melt belt. But I'm trying to be very careful because I do have my makeup done and I didn't wanna mess it up, um, you know? So I'm really trying to take my time around this makeup and everything. But um, once I place the lace, like I mentioned, I'm going to blow dry it, hot comb it, and then tie it down with that melt belt.
And after letting that melt down sit for 10 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that band. And I'm gonna go in with that razor and begin to razor off that extra lace. So like I said, guys, I did not pluck this wig at all. So basically, this is how it looks when it's not, um, uh, well, without plucking, because like I said, the wig is kind of pre-plucked already. But now I'm just going in with the razor and I'm just razoring off the extra lace. And then once I'm done with that, um, I will get into like portioning off the hair for the styling process. So the first thing that I'm going to do is set, pull down a section for the sideburn area. So another thing I forgot to mention, guys, I actually just washed this wig and let it air dry. I didn't even comb through it yet, flat iron it, nothing. As you can see, it's just like, it looked like an air dry wig that, you know, it's just whatever. But um, nevertheless, um, I'm pulling out the two sections for my sideburns because I'm going to curl those sides. So yeah, I'm gonna plait this one side out the way, then I'm gonna plait the other side out the way, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bust this down the middle and then section off my two. I wanted two chunky sections in the front because I didn't want my two curls in the front to be like thin. So I parted off a chunky section, and this is one of the benefits of having a full 13 by six parting space wig because you get so much more parting space to be way more versatile. And who doesn't love an HD lace wig? So yeah, you could get 613 in HD if it were me I would click that link down below and make my purchase but hey that's just me <laughs> but for real y'all so I parted my wig down the middle and I'm just going to hot comb um, the two sides really quick just you know quickly to just you know flatten out those wrists a little bit but I am going to take my comb but I have to make sure my part is in the center first and um, take that wax stick and you know hot comb it down some more But once I go ahead and part off my sections It will be two like thick chunky sections because like I mentioned I did want um, my two front curls to be nice and thick I didn't want no thin little bangs like little roach antennas in the front of my lace. So um, Yeah, once I section that off I would begin to hot comb everything else out the way You know spray the hairline tie it down and then get into the styling And I'm just going in with that wax stick and just applying it all over that top area because that's going to be sleeked up into their ponytail. So once you section off your, uh, your sections, then just go ahead and hot comb everything else upwards so you can kind of like train the hair the direction that you need to go. And what I'm doing right now is just throwing my head uh, backwards, well, forward. <laughs> and I'm trying to pull down some of the hairs in the back because y'all know like when you see the style, it'd be like, hair pulled down from like random sections and it all be curled and especially because this is not a full lace it's a regular lace frontal wig just with a lot of parting space 
that means that there are tracks in the back and you have to try your best and i mean your best guys to camouflage those tracks as much as possible so um i did the best i could you know with no one helping me but then once my cousin Brittany came in you know she helped me you know section off some better sections so my tracks did not show so oh look at the bdbs <laughs> so um i'm gonna go ahead and just pull down as much as i can where i think i can feel like my hair showing or track showing you know to the best of my ability but um, once I pull down a few of those sections across the back and on the sides and everything like that um, I would just go ahead and rubber band that section out of the way And this is me trying to do it the best I could. But then, like I said, once my cousin came, she helped me, you know, pull a little more pieces down to cover up the track. So it was all about, you know, camouflaging or whatever. But now I'm going to go ahead and pin everything out the way so I can spray the hairline down, add more foundation, and, you know, secure it with the um, melt belt. So I just quickly hot comb these two sides for what? I have no idea. Just doing stuff at this point because I'm finna curl it anyway. But yes, I will um, just go ahead and spray the hairline down, add foundation, and then use the melt belt once again. So while that melt belt is sitting, I'm just going to plait the hair out the way on both sections and I'm going to focus on a ponytail because even though this style is like a messy look, you still kind of want your messy look to look kind of neat. So I will be using like my wax sticks, my hot comb and my, um, what you call it, what you call it, holding spray to kind of like smooth this style up and I'm just using a little, um, a little brush and trying to brush it up as much as possible and i'm trying to get it as high as possible because i do want it to sit kind of high where you can actually see well like where i pin curl it and all that stuff so i'm just kind of like finger raking it and you know brushing it up and all that and then i'm just going to get a big rubber band um you know, like a, you know the big rubber band black rubber band and kind of like pin it up um but like i said try to keep the front as neat as possible can't expect too much perfectness because it's not a full lace like i mentioned but you know, the back is going to be a little bit messier, but we're, it's, it's all going to just come together. Just, you know, just trust the process, okay? So, I'm just smoothing it up, and I'm just taking that rubber band, and I'm going to secure it. And, um, you know, hot combing it to make sure it's nice and flat. But then once I secure it, I will go ahead and remove that melt belt and get into actually curling up the bottom pieces, the front pieces, and then show you guys how I actually pin curl the style. And this is a quick back view. If I was to leave it as a ponytail and just curl it, that's pretty much how it would look. That 16 inch would cover any tracks or anything that I was trying to avoid showing. So if you want to do a curl ponytail, look, you can. 
um but if you want to do more like a pinup style you can as well it's just really up to you but i wanted it pretty high so you can see my curls and then you know everything else is just everything so now what i'm going to do is start by taking my curler and i'm using my small curler and i'm just going to curl up my sideburns first i don't know i don't know what made me do the sideburn first i think it kind of like set the tone for how i felt like my hair was going to look so i went ahead and did those sideburns first and then i'm going to curl the back and of course the bangs i didn't cut any layers in the bangs i just you know curled it and then you know kind of um play with it till I got a desired look pretty much but I did cut it even once I curled it I did give it like a nice little blunt cut but um right now what I'm doing is taking my curler that I use actually for my edges I like the small tightness of it I don't know why I couldn't get this curl right y'all but um I'm just taking my small little edge curler and just curling up my sideburns because I want it to be like that little tight curl cute messy type of look and here we go for the fourth goddamn time to curl this little piece right here that just would not cooperate but once i get it i get it that's all i'm gonna say once i got it i got it and that was that so boom we got that little curl over there coming through it and i'm gonna curl it again oh okay well, we got it this time all right all right bet we vibing we vibing yeah we vibing cool so i went ahead and did that side and now i'm hot combing one of my sections and i said i made it nice and chunky i also gave it a little volume at the front i didn't want it to be flat i did want it to have a little volume and i'm taking my um babyless pro i forgot what it was called but the, my babyless curling iron and i'm just curling it away from the face you want to make sure you are curling your bang pieces away from the face okay that's how you get to frame your face when you curl it away from the face so i'm curling away from the face i'm hot combing it underneath to give it to you know to keep that volume in there and just flatten it out just a little bit towards the back it don't need to be humped out on the whole part just more so that front area and i'm just you know playing with the curl flat ironing it you know touching it pumping it up and a little holding spray to keep it nice and firm Whatever that's going to make it work and whatever's going to make it last and give me that desired look that I was going for. But like I mentioned, I am going to end up blunt cutting is the ends of my curl bangs later. But for now, I'm just going to, um, yeah, play with this curl until I get a desired look. Because what I was trying to do, basically, y'all, was just like get one side down packed. And it kind of got me like hyped up to do the other side. So when I seen that one side was looking good, I was like, oh, yeah, this one going to hit. You know what I'm saying? Because, and honest, and all, and all honestly, like this style has been trending for a minute, and everybody's been doing it. I just didn't do it yet. And I said if I did it, I was gonna do it in some color. Whether it was gonna be a red, lime green, blue, pink, it just had to be a color. But I'm like, you know what? Let me do it on myself first. And if I can kill it on myself, as hard as it is to do it with your own wig on yourself, I know it's nothing to kill it on somebody else. So I am gonna do the style again on somebody else, probably just in a different color to add a little spice to it. But yeah, so far I am loving it. Going in with that same little small curling iron and just curling all those little hanging pieces that I got on the uh, left side of my head. Because y'all know I'm right handed so it's easy to do the left side. And then I would get that right side to match with my left. So right now I am definitely feeling it. It's looking cute. Sideburns is laid. Bang is laid. My little drop pieces is laid. And I had no complaints. Like I knew this style was going to come out bomb. So time to do the other side. Same thing. Get the curler. Curl it up, you know what I'm saying? Curl the bangs up, curl the little pieces up, all that. So, y'all just stay tuned.
So now I'm just gonna take my razor and just kind of razor that bang a little bit to, you know, make it a little shorter. I didn't want to make it like blunt with the scissors, so I just took the razors and just chopped it down a little bit. And um, I'm gonna finish curling up the other side. And then we will get into me actually doing um, the pinup part. So now for the pinup part, basically what I did was took my Babyliss little flat iron curler tool and I just curled um, it up like I would like basically how you would do a regular pin curl, like how you would curl your hair, you know, roll it up and pin it. That's basically what I did. And some pieces I chose to leave down hanging and then like most of it is pinned up, but I dropped, I left some pieces to drop down and just kind of hang with the curls just to, you know, play with the style a little bit. So all of this right here is pretty much repetition. Um, if I'm not curling and pinning it, then I'm just letting it hang down. I'm just letting it drop. Like, see, right there was one of my, um, oh, no, that wasn't, oh, okay, never mind, y'all, that wasn't the one. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and pin that. And I'm basically just curling it and just getting black bobby pins and just pinning it. Don't pin it down to perfection. You still want to leave the curl still kind of open, still kind of fluffy. Don't pin it down like you're trying to save your curls for Sunday's church, Okay just hold it like put it in a little circle pin it but still leave it like open and fluffy so you can kind of like stack the pin curls you get what i mean so just continue to curl leave it some space in it don't make it too tight and pin it but like fluff it out you know play with it a little bit don't make it too 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 tight when you pin it so i'm going to continue to do that at the top of the head and then like i mentioned um I'm going to drop down like three pieces while I curl it and just leave it hanging just to give it, you know, like I said, a little, a little spice to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys continue to watch um, this part because it's just repetition. Together real cute period is giving yes it's giving the girls baps it's giving the girls Halle Berry you know what I'm saying oh I let like don't try it out. and I still got to curl that little straight piece in the back don't worry about y'all that's gonna get curled but I'm gonna continue to curl it up and you guys will see I'm just continuing to pin. Y'all see I'm starting to stack it up. So I'm just grabbing, still grabbing little sections, leaving some hanging down and curling up a majority of it. Just grab a little section, 
curly and pin it and my wigs come very full so that's why it's like i'm able to do so many pins but you know after a while you get tired so you be like all right now nah, i ain't gonna muddy i did enough to you know make the style pop but baby it's a lot of work because you got to grab those sections and pin it up and stack it up and you know give it some volume too like you don't want your curls to just be flat around the surface like you got to stack them on top of each other to give the look you know some volume so um anyways continue to curl this thing up and then we're getting closer and closer to the finished look So yes, my cousin Brittany was over there hyping me up, y'all. And I told her to come double check for me to make sure I don't have no, you know, showing tracks or anything like that. So that's what she's doing, helping me in the bag, you know, putting some bobby pins to pin me down. So I ain't walking around no club with all my goddamn tracks showing in the bag and bitches laughing at me and shit. You know, little, you know, the little normal stuff. So um, she's getting that back together for me. So like I said, this is a hard style of doing yourself, especially if you don't have a two mirrors to do that double like that double recording like where you can see your back and your front or you know if you just not it's just hard that's all i got to say so just take your time with this style guys and be patient it is a lot of work it's easy but it's a lot of work at the same time but trust me you will love the finished look so once i finish cutting up the rest you guys will see the finishing look and what i had to wear too. Okay, guys, so here's a 360, what it looks like after I curled it. You see how I left some hanging, I kept some curl. It's messy, but it's cute, and it's neat at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yes. Get into it, period. And last but not least, it's time to conceal that part up. So I took that foundation, dropped it right in that part. And, yes, oh, I, when I tell y'all this style was giving, honey, I was obsessed, baby. I was obsessed. I was loving it. I was like, oh, yeah. I snapped with this one. And I knew when I dropped it, it was going to do some numbers, child. So, um, just going in with some darker foundation because I feel like I removed too much of my foundation. So, I'm actually using a darker foundation in that palette to kind of, like, make it seem like I contoured the forehead. So, yeah. Look at me sound like an MUA. And I'm just, you know, getting my little humps together. You know, nice little humps, not McDonald's, okay? Not no McDonald's humps, not no ba da ba ba ba. You know, just one, just a little volume, never too much, not too much though. And then once you get that desired look, boom, take your pictures, drop your videos, and you was a baddie. And here is my outfit, y'all. Yeah, I did that. But let me know what y'all think down below about this video. Love you guys. See you on the next one.